Insert door in. What's up, YouTubers? Space Googie here. You can email me at arcade player one. That's the number one at yahoo.com for any questions or comments or anything you want to email me with. Anyways, what we're doing today is I've gotten quite a few requests and emails about Space Googie. How do you do multiple backgrounds for Maximus Arcade? Well, it's kind of hard to just type it and explain it, so I thought I'd do a real quick, simple tutorial on how to do it. Now, I'm not a tutorial professional, so I'll try to I'll try to do the best that I can. I'm going to try to be as quick as I can. Uh, so let's start off with opening the Maximus theme editor. Okay, and let's see. We got your windows. Let me change the resolution on this real quick here. Alright, the first thing you want to do, the easiest thing to do, is actually open an existing theme. So let's go with um, Maximus Sunrise. Okay, now that we've got it open, let's see. The first thing you want to do is let's move to, well, I don't know if anybody knows how to change the main background, but let's say you want to change the main background. Let's make sure we've got it. So that's it. You're going to right click on the background. Make sure you do, in fact, have the background. Maybe uh, use your right click and move it around. So, yeah, I've got it. Go to import. You're going to go to wherever you have your stuff stored at. Let's say for the main background, I want to use, let's just say, I want to use this one. Okay. Pretty simple. All right, so let's say after Maximus loads, you go into your emulator selection. Here's main. Now, let's say you want to change some things here. You pretty much do the same thing. Make sure you have, you know, you have MAME or whatever it is you're, you're changing. Make sure you have it. It'll be highlighted with a, uh, uh, green, green lines around it. Right click, import, go to your folder. Let's say I want to use this one I just did. You'll have to resize it, of course. Scale. And scale it to whatever size you see fit. Let's just do it right there, for instance. Oops. So after you resize it, click Move to actually move it. Let's see, we'll put it right there. And then, let's say you want to change the background for this. Now, this is you know, there's a couple of things you can do. One thing is you don't need this anymore. Main multi arcade machine emulator. You know this is main. Okay, so you don't need this. So you have two choices. You can either use this to import something, or you can use this to import something. This thing that I just grabbed is it, it makes the monitor look rounded. It makes the theme look rounded. You can see that right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can use it or not. I don't use it because it gives me another sprite to play with. Uh, and I don't make, and, and I'll, I just don't like it. So it gives me something else to use. Well, let's just use this. So make sure you have it. Right click, import, go to your folder. Whoops, too far there. And let's pick this background. Okay. Now see that it's completely taken over the entire screen. Well, that's because you got to scale. Scale it down. Click move. And put it about right there. And then I like to use this thing. And since I'm using 640 by 480, 
scale it over here with the property inspector here. Let's see. Get that out of the way. And I want to I want to hide that too, so we'll go a little bit more. Actually, slide this over like that. Oops. Just like that. And we want to go up. Right about there. And there's your background. Now what you want to do is right click, go to arrange, send backward. There we go. Send backward. Sorry. And there you go. You've got your background with your uh, theme. Uh, let's go to um, let's say Nintendo Entertainment System. Do the exact same thing. You don't need this. You know it's a Nintendo. So you would go right click, import. Hey you guys, I was uh, in the middle of editing the video for YouTube and I realized uh, that for some reason my camera cut off. So you'll notice that this is not the same. That's because I already removed it and I can't find the original. So I'll just start back here again. I'm just going to show you how to do something, you know, do another one here. Um, again, take the Nintendo logo or whatever logo you want. You don't need it. You know that's a Super Nintendo. Right click import select where you have your stuff um, blah, 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 blah. Again, backgrounds and let's say I want to use um, so I want to use this background bring it up size it to whatever you know, screen resolution you have 640 by 40 in this case That's fine right there. Height, down a little bit. Just up. So there, now you got a different uh, different background for your Super NES. Uh, let's go to the next emulator here. Let's just say uh, Nintendo 64. Same thing. Grab this. You know it's Nintendo 64, and if you don't, then probably shouldn't be playing with this. Import. Select your Nintendo 64 background. Wherever you keep your stuff. Let's just say I want to use this. It can be whatever you want. Size it up. This. And same thing goes if you want to change your, you know, if you want to actually change the Nintendo 64 system, right? Make sure you have it. Right click, import, um, and you can change it to Atari 2600 if you wanted to. Very simple. When you're done, just go to File, Save. Uh, if you want to save it as all those resolutions, I normally don't just because I only use one resolution at 640 by 480. So you can go into your info, uncheck everything you don't want to use. The only thing I normally keep checked is 640 by 480 and 800 by 600, and then you know give it a uh, give it a name, put your name in here for author, what version, maybe a little bit of info, and then just go up to file, save, okay, type in the name, save it, uh, save it under your go to front end skins folder, save it under your skins. Type in blah, 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 or whatever you want. Save it. And then when you're done, you will go into your MA Preferences. Uh, interface. And then you'll go to your Interface Theme and select whatever you just named it to. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Hope I explained it to you uh, so you understand it. If not, if you have any questions or anything in regards to this, uh, let me know. Drop me a line. Arcade Player One. That's the number one at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching, guys.